What do you mean he's too busy? I thought we were going to use instead. Right. Heather, you're up. and welcome to the Unmissable Album Series number six. Uh, my name is Heather, this is the first time you've seen me in this. Um, and I decided to inflict my, one of my favourite bands on the group, uh, Mind the Self-Indulgence, and their album If, from 2008. It's their fourth album, um, they've been around for about 10 years before this album came out. Genre-wise, if you've never heard of this band before, uh, their industrial jungle pussy punk is how they originally uh, sort of defined themselves. And then that moved on to just more sort of electropunk, pretty craziness going on. Hopefully you'll enjoy it, hopefully you get an idea of what MSI are and what they do, and I look forward to hearing your opinion. Thank you. My first, I've got to admit, my first reaction was a lot different to what, um, what it ended up, what uh, my opinion of the entire album ended up being. Uh, I liked, this is probably going to come up later on as well, but I liked the first song a lot more than I thought I would. Uh, well, was it never, never wanted to dance? But after that, it just sort of got into music that I'm not especially a fan of. Like it's, I, I was able to tolerate it, put it that way. So that makes it much better than much better than a lot of other music I've listened to. Yeah, it was good. I tolerated it more than CJ did. Yes, I love the album. Um, as a rapid Mind and Self Indulgence fan, it's uh, up there with my favourites. Um, the newest one's probably slightly more favourite, and then some of the older ones as well. But um, yeah, no, If was a really good album, so I love it. Probably never wanted to dance. Um, there are a couple of other decent ones in there. Um, I think there was, I can't remember exactly which track it was, but it was one that Alex said had Shades of New Order in it. Um, I didn't mind that one, but I think the strongest song was easily the first song. Oh, I see why you liked Issue, that was kind of funny. I if you listen to the lyrics, you can tell they basically don't give a shit. And they just don't know the hell they feel like. And it's kind of hard to pick a favourite one, but that was also awesome because we probably weren't paying as much attention as we should have. But a couple of songs did just, I heard things and they stood out to me, like the one that kind of had a riff from New Order with the keyboard. And every now and then the lyrics sounded like Peter Garrett fronting some sort of electric punk band. Funny. Never Wanted to Dance comes out pretty high, but um, uh, my maybe not strongest, my favourite is Get It Up and Issues. Um, issues is just really catchy, I think, for um, it gets in your head, and then at 3am it's all I can think of if I happen to be awake at that time. Um, but Never Wanted to Dance is probably the, uh, the strongest musically. For me, it was, for me it was Get It Up, but that's purely because, um, it's not because, it's not because it was, an any, it was any sort of shitty song or whatever, it was pretty much then was at the, at the time I was realising mine was self-indulgence and not very G-rated. It was around about that song that I realised that they're not, that, yeah, this is what sort of thing, this is what the sort of, eh, 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 this is the sort of thing that they sing about and, you know, it's not exactly my greatest thing, so. Around the end? Some of the songs sounded a bit weaker. I think that they didn't quite stand out as much to me, but I couldn't quite say. Ooh, it's really hard to have a weak song when I'm this level of a fan. But um, probably Money and Bomb This Track come up uh, for me as the weakest, and Prescription as well. I think it's a good song. I loved it particularly very early on, but I think there's something missing in all three of those, which makes it a bit than the other two. It was a bit disjoint, but purely because I'm, you know, I'm very much used to Gapless albums um, by a long way, and that was the only bit of disjoint that I found. Apart from that, the music sort of actually, actually was pretty much just, you're going to hate me for saying this, but it was pretty much the same the whole way through. <laughs> and, but that's by no means a bad thing, because it does help keep that little bit of cohesion going. Yes, I would. Um, as strange as a thing for an album to have, um, basically, all the songs kind of had an overall theme of sex and sex with people who you wouldn't normally have sex with because you couldn't have sex with people who you normally have sex with. And then you can't get it up and just 
Yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure if MSI can be cohesive. I call it cohesive. Um, just looking at the the back the the back of it. Um, I'd say overall it's it's pretty cohesive. It's maybe a little bit choppy towards the end um, between track nine, mastermind. Um, uh, I don't know, maybe between ten and fifteen. Those last five are just a little bit a little bit kilter and again maybe the weakest songs set it off a bit but otherwise I really think it's fairly cohesive. Generally I don't. Um, probably regular viewers of UAS will know this. I generally stick to electronic and experimental with some indie stuff thrown in but no generally not this sort of stuff. Though having said that, that little bit of new order that came in um, did make things a little bit interesting for my musical sensibilities. Probably why, it's probably why I didn't hate the album as much as I thought I would. I really listen to anything that's even remotely punky. They say their genre is, ooh, used to be industrial jungle pussy punk. Um, it's also been referred to as uh, belief music or um, uh, it's one of the iTunes genre options. And uh, for a while there was apparently a large amount of Christian people downloading MSI albums thinking they were uh, religious. Christian kind of music and then being sorely disappointed. Um, but as for what I'd probably call the genre, I'd, <laughs> I'd probably say yeah, it's more like electro punky kind of stuff with l more musical lyrics than punk would normally have. I could probably tolerate it if I was in your car. I'm not sure if I'd be able to tolerate listening to it on my own though. Um, it's not something I generally try more than once. I don't know, something about punk's just never really taken my fancy and this. Well, I don't think I've ever listened to any MSR before, but yeah, it wasn't too bad, but I don't think I'm going to be, oh, okay, I did download the album, but that was for editing purposes. <laughs> um, yeah, I might listen to it, well, obviously I have to listen to it a couple more times, but if it takes my fancy, then I'll let you know. No, never again. <laughs> yes, I'll be listening to it uh, many times. I've been listening to it a lot since 2008 when it was released, so um, yeah, that's not, that's sort of a, a no-brainer there. This is my philosophy on pretty much anything musical. Try anything once, like, even if it's not something that you consider fantastic, even if it's a genre that you don't much like. Give something a try. If you hate it, so be it. But if you like it, that's how it came in, just disclosure, pretty much. Uh, it took me, it took me a little bit to warm up to, um, Quite a few of those songs. I'm talking about completely the wrong album. <laughs> well, the only thoughts that are popping through my head at the moment are Lemmings, so that's... Um, I don't know why, it just came to my head. But I don't really have... I don't really have too much. Um, it's... I will say this, that it's pretty clear that they're not... The, that they're not a generic metal rock band. They're much... They're, they've got... They've got a unique sound. And that sound is not sounding like Peter Garrett. Um, it's... I can't put my finger on. I can't put my finger on exactly what it is, or maybe I've just lost for words or something. But they are unique, and I'll give them credit for that. Yeah, musically they're more complex than punk, which may, which is I suppose more appealing to me because I find punk it's a bit too simple, but this has more depth, oh, musical depth. Um, well, you could argue about the depth of some of the songs. The lyrical content. Uh, take from that what you will. But yeah, I'd say it's a step up from punk. It's a good album. It's uh, probably yeah, like I said, not my favourite, but pretty high up. Um, it's got some very strong songs, uh, songs that I really want to hear whenever they come to Australia. And I think the last time they were here, they only played two of them off this album, uh, excluding when they were here for the If Tour. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, yeah, overall, I love it. Um, not the one I always recommend to people, um, but it's, yeah, pretty good. Making us all indescribably indistinguishable from each other, or maybe I'm just another megalomaniac. Oh, 